Hello, so we are back. Tuesday, uh, look what we have here. This is a proper big board. This is a TV board. Yeah, let's see what TV is. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> let's check here. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I don't need help. This is a Samsung. What model is? UA65 HU A500. This is a 65 inch TV. It's massive. It's, it's, it's a big, big TV. And the TV is dead. You know what? We start filtering the jobs. Yeah. So actually, we are getting only jobs. Uh, TV which are not coming on. You have no line, nothing. Because dealing with the logic boards, that seems to be long. It's always long. We have to order and the TV has to stay on the shop. The shop is not, not that much space. It's just long jobs. So this is a dead TV. Okay? Now let's go through the steps to diagnose a power supply board. Okay? What you will check first? That's the question. So obviously first what we are checking are the fuses, yeah, to know if we have a fault on the high voltage area. You see the high voltage, you see this black line. So this is the high voltage and the low voltage. Now let me switch to diode mode. So we have first fuse next to the power socket, this one. And this one is good. You can see on the meter on the screen, zero, zero. It's good. Then you have a small fuse here. Probably this small fuse is for uh, this small power supply. Probably the standby power supply. And this fuse is good. Okay. Now we have another fuse here. Probably this is for the power. Uh, uh, these uh, big transformers. Yeah. And this fuse is good. So all three fuses are good. That's mean most likely, most likely, the fault is not here. Okay, because any like shorted MOSFET, we have two here. Here you have two rectifier bridge. Here you have four MOSFETs. Yeah, so any shorted MOSFET, or uh, probably you have one more MOSFET here. Any shortest MOSFET, it will blow up a fuse. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's this fuse, this fuse, or the general fuse like this one. Okay, like this one from here. So, uh, if you have a short on this side, it will never blow up the fuse here because the power supplies, they are protected against uh, short circuits here. So, the current, you have a short here, the current goes up, and each power supply, it will sense the current goes up, and it will cut down the, the power. Okay? So, on the output, what we can check on the output? What can get shorted on the output? Most likely, if it's something shortened on the output, first it will be the components where there are a lot. It's it's a lot of pressure, yeah. Like uh, those dials. These are double dials, but are on the heat sink. So uh, most likely, one of those diodes, which you see gro groups, two dials here, two dials here, three dials here. So those diodes are on the parallel mode. How do we are checking uh, if we are on the parallel mode? So the minus should be together, and you can see are together, and the plus are together, and you can see are together. So then if you check minus with plus, yeah, you can see it's not short. But usually, because you cannot match two electronic components, doesn't matter what components they are, you cannot match them with exactly same characteristics. Yeah. So when you use two components on the parallel mode, one component, it will work hard, harder compared with the other. Like on this case, the two diodes on the parallel mode, always a diode will be hotter compared with the other one. Always a diode, it will carry more current compared with the other one. Just because you cannot match them perfectly. You know, the diodes or the semiconductors are like people. No one is the same with the other. Although diodes are good, yeah? 
those diodes are good. You can see it's no short, and the diodes are on the parallel mode, minus here and plus here. So the diodes are on parallel mode, but they are no shorter. So those are no shorter, no shorter. Here you have another four diodes. But I believe here probably it's a rectifier bridge, yeah. These are not together. But we do have zero on this diode. Okay, that's strange. We have zero on this diode. On this diode we have zero, and on this diode we have zero. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, like zero on the diodes, on the four diodes. Let's see the configuration. Okay, so the diodes are on the parallel mode, we can see here. They are on the parallel mode. So what do we have here? We have the input from the from the transformer, you can see. Then it's going to the two diodes. Then the output So one more time. Let's see if this is ground. Yeah, ground. Okay, this is not ground. Okay, so this is a differential power supply, yeah? So you have one, these are together, and this one is plus, this one is minus, and also it's a different pin, which is ground. Or not. Wow, look at the ships. <laughs> okay, one more time. Let's see. So those are going here. And the other side here. Okay, I got it. I got it, yeah? So this pin is coming here to this. And this, yeah, it's a differential power supply, okay? So you have plus and you have minus. Let's see. This is plus. I can see here. And this is minus. So this is plus and this is minus. What is this? And why this is show me are shorted? Because has some resistors on the parallel mode there. You see, that's the, the biggest step to identify the schematic, to understand what's going on there. Okay, yeah, that's why it's giving me like they are short. You see those resistors? So those resistors have 5 ohms on the parallel mode. Yeah, so the diodes are not shorted. Okay? Those diodes are not shorted. Now the next diodes are this. Check on the meter, zero, zero. You can see on the meter, zero, 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 zero. Okay? Checking from the one diode to the other, zero, 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 zero. You can see? So those diodes at zero ohms, however you check. Now, keeping in mind, these are big diodes, it's not supposed to be shorted. So you can see the power yeah, from the transformer is coming to these three diodes which are in the parallel mode, and then this is the plus line. The other, the other part of the transformer is connected to ground, you can see this is a big ground circuit. So one diode is shorted. That's the issue with this board, yeah? and most likely this is the only fault. Now, one question, yeah? <clears throat> you have three diodes. You can see all three diodes are in the parallel mode. You can see them on the screen. Now, usually, and probably most of the time, one is getting shorted. One, just one. How do you, you identify which one is shorted without desoldering, yeah? But that's the question, yeah? So, without desoldering... 
how you identify which one is shorter. I think I made a video about this. Uh, yeah, you remember the video with uh, with my with my plumber when I when I uh, when I prank him. It's a very easy way to identify which diode is shorted. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna connect the power supply to the ground, and it will gonna co connect the power supply to the plus. And the shorter diode, it will get hot. Okay, so power supply. Uh, you know what? We don't even have to do that. No. We don't have to connect to the ground. We can connect the, 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 the ground on this side, here. Here. So if you, we are connecting the power supply and the minus of the diode and plus of the diode, yeah? Let's lower the voltage. It's, it's not important, but just let's lower the voltage and raise the current. So we have like 5 amps. So it's taking 5 amps. You see, those diodes are cold. I can keep the finger on. But this one, I can't even touch it. Yeah? So this diode is shorted. That's an easy way to identify a diode when they are in the parallel mode. Yeah? So this is the diode. This one is the diode. Let's test it with the multimeter. Minus plus. Check on the meter, zero. Okay, so this diode is shorted. It's not meant to be zero. If I check now the other two diodes, check on the screen, it's no zero. And on the other side, it's no zero. Okay, so now it's not short anymore. The TV, it will work with two diodes. It will. It will work. Because you still have two diodes. These are 5 amps diodes, uh, together 2 diodes, that means they are 10 amps. And I really doubt here it will be more than, uh, let's say, 3 amps. It will work even with 2 diodes. Now to replace it, you can replace it, if you want. LT, no, SB5150. I think I have this dial, let me check, let me find it. I think I find it. If you have it, replace it. If not... Uh, probably the TV it will work even on two diodes but you understand you took out one diode so a lot of pressure will be on this uh, on these diodes so let's say this TV worked three years before getting broken like now yeah worked three years then on two diodes the TV it will work probably two more years you know Till two years is still fine, right? Let's try and find a diode. Yeah, give me one second. I'm pretty sure I have this. Diode. <laughs> okay, let's see. SB, no, this is SR 5100. 5100. Are not the same. are not the same <clears throat> actually this will be a unique video you know sorry replacing a diode yeah probably we have to probably we have to order this diode but let's test it and see if really the tv is working okay that would be interesting how can i do it i'll feed the board I will edit the video after that.
And I'll stray the TV to see the picture on the screen, yeah? Just give me like one minute. Yeah. Take it to the camera. Let's check the, the file over the computer again. <laughs> so check that, check that, check that, yeah? Just wait. I, I fret the guy. I told him, you know, if don't show the TV to the camera, they'll get a pay cut. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the picture on the screen, on the corner saying HDMI 1. So that it, so that if it's working fine, all we have to do is to order this diode and replace the diode. I just go, I just try to go through, you know, the steps to diagnose the power issue. Yeah, look, you can see the text on the on the screen. Okay, it's working fine. It's working great. So I'll stop this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.